Hey guys, if you're listening to this, then we already know you like to have a good time and we found just the perfect drink to level up any occasion. So it's for the ragers, it's for the spring breakers and the life of the party. This is your new favorite drink. It's pirate water, baby. It's a canned ready to go malt beverage with 10% alcohol. It comes in four epic flavors. We got margarita, sex on the beach, Bahama Mama, shout out Bahama Mama. That's my current favorite and Miami Vice, which is a close second. Margarita the third. Uh, I've tried them all. I love them all. We just went to St. Patrick's Day and did a pirate water fucking, what was it, a duck boat, G? A duck boat, dude. Yeah. It was insane. Uh, we love pirate water. It's literally sponsoring our life and also sponsoring this podcast, which is our life. So if you haven't tried it yet, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you, and you can order it now on GoPuff. Make sure to check it out. Let's get into this episode. Sorry, we're talking about Britney Spears. Uh, welcome back <laughs> to Plan Free. I'm Kat. We're here with Sarah Shower. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. Welcome. She's actually behind the curtain. Yeah. Brittany! <laughs> Brittany! Oh, baby, baby. To bleep her because she's <laughs> naked yes. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Read it, baby. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me on. Are we recording? Yeah, yeah. we're rolling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, we, we didn't really started. do a three, two, one kind of thing. No, yeah. just kind of jump I right into, into it. it. The Britney uh, Spears show was kind of good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, hey guys. <laughs> Welcome. How we doing? Good. Um, I just paid for parking, and the guy was like, "There's a guy behind me. He was like honking. He's like, can you get me?'" And I was like, "No." Are Sorry. you serious? <laughs> yeah, it's a new driving a Tesla. Bold ass. <laughs> but I was like, "It's two dollars, <laughs> and you drive a fucking Tesla." <laughs> I paid for the coins, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, we didn't re up the coins. Oh We're getting a shit, ticket. we're in trouble. Yeah. Part. Okay. It'll be all right. Um, but Sarah came in and she's like, So what are we talking about? <laughs> and we're like, uh I don't know. We gotta just shoot the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the deal ski. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but you're here and uh, how are things going for you? What's new in your life? Uh pretty good. Um I have a new podcast called the BCC Club. You oh, guys yes. should watch it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's like the weirdest parts of the internet, but like also that and like towards the end we do like an improv segment where we interview the people from the weirdest parts mm-hmm. of the internet. Oh, so nice. like we talked about mommy vloggers and then my co-host like dressed up as a mommy vlogger oh, and she's shit. like yeah like my 17 children live in a van with me <laughs> and they fucking love it and so who's your co-host uh kendall landreth okay how yeah, did yeah. you guys meet um well i mean we're both gay so no no, no. um <laughs> we like like through our managers because they're like best friends mm-hmm. and so like i was starting a new podcast and i was like looking for a co-host mm-hmm. and i was like oh she's really funny and <laughs> we just met and we started a podcast together. Nice. Hell yeah. yeah. Is it going well? Yeah, yeah. It's really fun and going well. We had like an episode on nepotism babies. Oh, that oh is that's like, a good topic. Oh, who'd you I hit? know. Who'd you cover? Um, okay, so we talked about the good ones like Miley Cyrus mm-hmm. and then like our favorites that are like the worst, like Chet Hanks. Oh, you know? my Dude, fucking God. Yeah. I could go all day on Chet Hanks. I tried <laughs> so hard to get him on the podcast. Like, I was DMing him so much. I think he might have blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like shitty. shit on him. Yeah. He's just so busy. <laughs> so busy. Yeah. yeah. He's just like getting fucking sweaty. Whoa, Wait, honestly. you know what's so funny about Chet Hanks? So, uh, there's these guys at Barstool, and they they do like traveling across America, and they came here, and they wanted to make a music video, and they asked Chet Hanks to be in it, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll be in it, but for two words, it's gonna be twenty five hundred dollars." And he was dead ass, and yeah. they paid him five thousand dollars to say three words. I was gonna say like the two words are Chet Hanks. It was. It was. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, he yeah. said, "Yo, it's Chet." <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. It was Yo, it's Chet. <laughs> so funny and um they tried to expense it mm. after the fact and uh our company was like absolutely not yeah, <laughs> yeah they got brother. like 30 percent back yeah <laughs> you send them like a case of beer and you're like that's yeah. all you're getting honestly it's, like, it's chat <laughs> it's chat five chat will be happy with a case of beer i'm sure yeah, yeah he's insane okay what what other nepo babies did you talk about um the beckham kids there's like the oh, yes. oldest one he has like the worst photography like photography book ever if you want to look it up <laughs> it's like the worst photos but like what's he got going on um photography he tried to be like a <laughs> soccer player and like a model and so like we were is talking to ab- brooklyn maybe yeah, yeah he's the, the oldest, oldest. he just got married really i believe oh, yeah, so to this like billionaire's daughter what? you gotta keep it in the family yeah yeah. <laughs> i don't know why i thought he was like 16 he was <laughs> when we <laughs> were 16. like eight years ago yeah <laughs> <Okay>. yeah <laughs> no but we were talking about like how it's embarrassing it's like being a nepotism baby it makes sense if your mom's a singer and you're mm-hmm. a singer i'm fine with that but like it's almost embarrassing if you have all the connections in the world and you still suck yeah because yeah. that's like a testimony that you like actually suck. Yeah. you're really yeah. bad yeah. you just got nothing dude <laughs> <laughs> you're a piece of shit <laughs> that's so true the talent getting passed on i get that yeah that's yeah. like something that's like mm-hmm. reasonable but yeah. you know most of them just got nothing yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, i didn't even think about him yeah there's so many nepo babies do you know any nepo babies Right here. You're a nepotism baby? 
She got me Nepo hired. Friend. <laughs> Nepo friend. Yes. Oh, my dog. Nepo infant. <laughs> yeah. We were also talking about it, like, what if, like, our parents, like, we're, like, I don't know. My mom's in the Navy, mm-hmm. so, like, I, like, inherit a ship or something. <laughs> I'm just, like, the captain That's of funny. a boat. <laughs> yeah. just my mom's a bus driver. <laughs> yes. I just get bad bosses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be insane. Yeah, Nepo babies are funny. What do you think about Hailey Bieber's uh, little Nepo baby shirt? Uh, Did I, I didn't see it. No, no, it was terrible. It was like a scripted paparazzi shoot of her wearing like a nepo baby shirt, and she's like pretending that she didn't set up the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> she posted the picture, and then she took it off and wore a different shirt throughout the day. That seems like such a nepo baby thing to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just like such a tired joke. Like any pronoun joke is just like, oh my god. Like it could be funny, but it's just like the, it's not funny anymore. You know, no. like being an actual nepo baby. Also, she's just cringy. I like, know. have you guys seen all the stuff with Selena Gomez? Okay, I'm oh, trying yes. to dive into it. Are you, like, deep into it? Do you want to explain it? I have to be because, like, the <laughs> For You page is just all, like, Selena that's Gomez stuff. That's going yeah. on yeah. right now. I'm on Selena's side, so I'm not seeing, like, any of the slander. I'm just yeah. seeing fan edits of Selena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Give I, us a break. She's got a lot of Selena's. Yeah. Or what are they called? Selena's. Selena's? Selena heads? <laughs> I don't know. Selena's. <laughs> 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 Um, I think the breakdown is like Haley Bieber is copying Selena Gomez, like obsessed okay. with her. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so like at first I was like, they showed like outfits and I was like, that could be, mm. you know, I feel like there's style, like, that, you yeah. know, I was like, that's fine. But then she has like this G tattoo behind her ear uh-huh. that Selena Gomez also has. Like it's like a lowercase G and it's right behind the ear, nothing else. And so like Selena Gomez's sister, younger sister mm-hmm. is named like G, like it starts with a G. And so then like I looked up why Haley Bieber also got the G tattoo. It's her past. Pastors, her old pastor's sick daughter's initial. That's a stretch. And I was like, that is a stretch <laughs> because her other tattoos are Baldwin, like a prey sign, yeah. and like stars. And I was like, all of that is like flash tattoos. And yeah. you're, telling, <laughs> yeah. you're telling me that you got like a G because your old pastor's daughter is no sick? Way. That's There's just no permanent. Way. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. That's fucking crazy. And the placement, I was like, that's too much of a coincidence. Oh, it's also in the same place. Yeah, it's in the what same the spot. Fuck? It's in the same Shit. font. <laughs> it's, yeah. I, I saw the, um, the clothing ones too, and I was like, that might be a stretch, but yeah. now maybe it's not. Yeah, there's what's the other one that's happening? Um, oh, yes, <laughs> that one. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Um, fuck, <laughs> it's not coming to my head. Oh, the oh my gosh, oh, the uh, eyebrows, the heart thing. Oh, I don't know that. So, like in an interview one time, like oh, they yes, were like, "What yes. do you want to what What do you want people to know about you?" And she's like, "My heart." Like mm-hmm. Selena Gomez, it was like this, like whatever. And then like. Literally, like a couple of weeks later, Haley Gomez, not Haley Gomez, fucking. <laughs> she Haley Gomez. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> Every night she like looks in the mirror and like brushes her hair and she's like, I am so Haley pretty. Gomez. Yes. Hi. Gomez, Gomez, Gomez. <laughs> but like, she like in an interview, they were like, What do you want people to know about you? And she's like, Just my heart. And I was like, Ooh. And, mm-hmm. this is- and it seems so disgenuine when she says it too. It's yeah. Like, uh, it's just my heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had a cheeseburger like three weeks ago, I promise. <laughs> She's such a bitch. You can like feel it. And did you see the eyebrow thing? That's the only thing I saw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yes. Selena Gomez like laminated her eyebrows weird. Mm-hmm. And then like a day later or something, Hailey Bieber like posted her eyebrows on her story. Yeah, with Kylie yeah. Jenner. What the- I think they what? should just physically fight. I yeah. know. It's mind boggling because it's like, why are they doing it on social media when they're so famous? Yeah. yeah. Like they, they're getting the bad rep. Everyone hates them now. Yeah. It seems like high school bullshit. Haley bro. Bieber lost 200,000 followers in like a day. <laughs> the Selenas are crazy. Oh, That's they just, are crazy. They go wild. her entire family <laughs> just like unfollowing. Wait, aren't the Baldwins, Baldwins. <laughs> aren't the Baldwins from Boston? Um, oh. uh, Hilaria or whatever the hell her name is the one who pretends that she Col- is um, Helena? I don't know she's, she, she pretends to have an accent but she's married to Alec Baldwin and she's from Boston okay and she's she's crazy too she just generally pretends to have an accent but <laughs> she's Literally from Boston. She should sound like me. What, she pretends to have a Boston accent? No, no, sorry. She, 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 no, that's us. I'm Hilaria. <laughs> I'm Hilaria. And I, I talk like this. And I've, I've lived overseas for so many years. Please leave my family alone. Yeah. That's how she sounds. Yeah. What accent is that? I'm, like, I'm old, like old English. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like kind of like a river of <laughs> Europe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Does a little of everything. Call her out? Anyone ever call her out? Oh, all the time. Oh, yeah. Okay. But like um, after uh, Alec got 
prosecuted. They were outside of her house, and she's like, please leave my family alone. And they're like, everyone's just like, what is that accent? Yeah. <laughs> it really should be, leave my fucking family alone, for real. Yeah, you motherfucking <laughs> cocksuckers. <laughs> you piece of shit. And I feel like that also just gets the point across better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I am not fucking with someone who calls me a cocksucker motherfucker. Yes. No way, Jose. Okay, so who, wait, who is Haley Bieber's mom? Um, Is she famous? I don't know anything about I ain't got shit on All the Baldwins, All I know is Alec really. Baldwin. Mm-hmm. And I know there's so many Baldwins. Yeah. Oh, and the crazy father who calls his daughter a stupid fat that's bitch. That's Alec Baldwin. No. Yeah. Oh, hey. that's Alec? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. damn straight. Yeah, you, that voicemail. You, you, that you shit's crazy. Rotten pig or something. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. I feel like it was over something minor, too. Like, yeah. she, like, left the she, front like, door unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'm going to come over there and let you know how I feel. <laughs> and he literally says, I don't care that you're 12. Yeah. I don't care that you're 12. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. It's like um like a when you forget to leave anonymous on Ask FM. Yeah. I'm just like you fucking piece of shit. I hate you. Yeah, it's a dad. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Did you ever like bully yourself on like those like anonymous things? Uh, oh, you did. I think I did. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah we I'm, talked about I'm, it. I'm kind of crazy like that. I just I need attention. Yeah, yeah. a lot. No, I was getting bullied so hard on it. I would say nice things about yeah. myself on it. Like, yes. oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> you're actually you. mad gorgeous. Yeah, you're so dope. <laughs> No, I had like uh, Yik Yak like when I was in college. Oh, yeah. yeah. And someone said like Sarah Shower. Like I wrote like Sarah Shower is like kind of cute. And then someone downvoted it and then I upvoted it just to get it back to like neutral. Just yeah. fighting. <laughs> I was like, guys. Oh, <laughs> on. Yeah. I, on Yik Yak, I was in high school when it came out and I invited, I, I put my friend's address who we were just having a kickback fire kind of mm. thing in the outside. I put his address on. I said, big banger at Brad's house. Come through. <laughs> Mad people oh, showed you're up. A bitch. I know. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? Uh, he just kept saying like, well, because like the by the third people that showed up, he was like, uh, "How are you guys getting my address?" And they're like, "Well, we saw it on Yik Yak within a uh, 30 mile radius." And um, he started screaming, "Who put my fucking address on Yik Yak?" I'm like, "That's fucked up. Yes. <laughs> I would never do that. That's fucking crazy. Who the fuck would do that?" And you update it like, "Guys, come through the back door. Yeah. Like, seriously, just be quiet when you come in. Yeah. Mom's home." Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Yik Yak was a fucked up idea of, a, yeah. of an app. Yeah, it was so mean. They tried to have a, a renaissance with it. Yeah, it came mm-hmm. back as of recently. A bit. Yeah, yeah. They, they, like, I think it like failed. A yeah, yeah. kind of like be real. Like it was, it was popping for a second, mm-hmm. and it's like people just decide if they want to keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you on the be real? I don't do it. Me either. It's never just, got in on it. Yeah, it's like one more thing. I kind of felt cool because it's like dying out. I'm like, I never got in on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was ahead of it. You'd rather be fraud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or uh, be private. Be private. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm so private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This shit's not private. It's just a conversation between three buddies, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's get deep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. You say something deep. Um, I'm sober, so this oh, alcohol shit, yes. is triggering. Oh, I'm totally so kidding. Bad. No, it's no, not. It's, it's not. Our <laughs> second sober interview <laughs> yes, in a know. row. Yes. I feel like a piece of shit. Oh, no, <laughs> no, you're, you're good. You're it's good. So fucking bad. I'm sorry. No, I was. Um, sorry. Oh shit. After you. <laughs> I was out at like a bar, um, just like, and I heard this girl behind me like get like a drink, and she like took a sip, and she's like, "Oh my god, this is too strong," and I was like, "You don't even know what you have. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is so fucked up. You have the power in a glass." <laughs> So you still go out? Um, yeah, yeah. Is it hard? It's awkward, but like, I mean, I'll take like an edible or something. Yeah. So I guess it's like California sober. Okay. But I feel like it's fine now because this is so stupid. I love mornings now, not being hungover. No, but that's very I, true. Yeah. You have that, so much yeah. of your day. It's you have true. so yeah. much left of your day you that you like can just shit. conquer. Yeah. yeah. But also, it can get kind of boring. It like, I really went sober recently so and it was a short term thing, but yeah. it was like, it's. You kind of run out of things to do almost. Yeah. It's kind of hard to keep yourself occupied. Yeah. You have you, that, like, you found, like, a yeah. good way to keep yourself, like... Occupied? Yeah. Well, I love Legos. I oh, actually okay. just, like, wrote, like, an entire, like, show pitch about, like, interviewing people, like, while we build, like, a Lego set. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. actually a good Tension idea. spans yeah. are very, very thin, so mm-hmm. uh, if people can watch you do Legos and talk... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like those... Tic- mine. Everyone on TikTok now, when they do podcast clips, they, like, show... People like moon sands oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the bottom <laughs> or like filling a pipe with cigarettes yeah. <laughs> and then you That's watch like the in- yeah <laughs> and they get me every time <laughs> but does that work does that like hold the 
cement. I see. I don't know. No one's ever like followed through with it and like yeah, showed yeah. it a year later. Yeah. I guess we'll have to try. I can only market imagine, research. Like a, like a building inspector. Just like there's so much ramen in your walls. <laughs> yes. What the fuck is <laughs> yes. going on? That you look a pack of marble menthols is just like preventing your house from leaking. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The heat comes on and you're just getting secondhand smoke. <laughs> yes. I picture the people that do like those like really silly DIY projects and like mm. they're going to like Michaels or whatever and yeah. they're, they're like, yeah you again what is what are you doing with all this <laughs> yes. stuff like pipe cleaner and, yeah. a, and a fucking four by four what are you up to <laughs> shit. Like going to the 7-eleven like i'll give me the usual it's like quick cement <laughs> and like a carton of cigarettes i'm not killing anyone yes. i'm just making tiktoks <laughs> just myself and future renters <laughs> yes. oh, that is so crazy to think about that shit it is funny mm-hmm. i want to try it now yeah <laughs> speaking of tension spans i'm cutting everyone off no go Fine. for it dude. i have a bad tension span myself mm-hmm. but uh you know tension spans were really fucked up because of vine do you want to really? talk about vine um i was on vine uh six <laughs> seconds i did like mm-hmm. waitressing shit like zooming in on my face uh, you were my favorite viner by the way really yeah, yeah. yeah. laughed out loud oh all the time <laughs> like, thank you and tiktoker now of course but that's I'm your favorite TikToker. Oh yeah, that's sad. <laughs> I thought that's it was Bryce Hall. <laughs> no, dude, it's actually Chet, but he doesn't post that much, so I gotta like, <laughs> I gotta fill my needs. <laughs> you you, you and Chet are actually a lot alike. That's why you two are up there for me. Yeah, we both fucked You're on so Chet. <laughs> yes, I'm so Chet. You're so fucking Chet. <laughs> we have the same gap in our teeth. <laughs> yes. That's Chet. <laughs> But no, um, you had you had phenomenal vines. So Thank like, you. when you were making your vines, you were in college, right? Yeah. And like, was it? Do people like recognize you on campus and shit? Or um, yeah, actually, I think the first. This is what I think is a funny story. But like, the first time I thought someone was about to recognize me, like I just blew up. I was getting. I had like fifty thousand followers, mm-hmm. and this girl's like, "Oh my god, I know you from somewhere," and I was like. <laughs> Fine, and she's like, when the power shut off at the gym, you ran off the treadmill, no. and it was so loud. And I was like, Are you serious? I was like, that was me, but that was literally two years ago. That's so specific. Yes. You ran off the treadmill. I saw it. You gave up. That's crazy. I know. No, no, no it's fine. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I thought it was like fine. Yeah. That is so awkward when people say like, Oh, I, I recognize you from somewhere, and it's like. You want to say, what's TikTok? Yeah, yeah. I'm always like, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> familiar face. Yes. Did you go to Pembroke High? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I went to high school. That's the niche joke there. <laughs> Your high school sounds like like Pembroke High sounds like Riverdale. Yeah, it sounds like it, sounds it could so be like a fake, fake made-up school. Everyone is twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. I'm like a half vampire. They just yeah. don't understand yes. the highs and lows of high school sports, bro. <laughs> oh, it's so like Riverdale is the craziest show ever. Have you guys watched it? No. I, I it, watched. I watched it. I had to stop watching I it because they were lighting well. people on fire. I think there was vampires in it. What am I making? That By up? the end, I think people were saying there was vampires <laughs> or werewolves. <laughs> like people started turning into animals. Yeah, they just couldn't write the script anymore. It was crazy. <laughs> no, they were like, "This is working so much that just <laughs> fuck it." <Yes. laughs> people eat it up. And then they're seniors in high school, and then they're forty by the time the yeah. show's over. It's fucking crazy. I mean, like, how would you like to be an actor on that show? Like, really? Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna turn into a pterodactyl this episode. <laughs> yeah, you sure about that? Like, yeah, I, just get up there, buddy. It's working. <laughs> I think the actors also said that they get their script like the day of, yeah. so it's not <laughs> even like you, you get to mentally prep yeah. to be a 40 year old vampire. You're like, shit, like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. method acting again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys see like the? Well, I guess you didn't watch. You watched it. The Archie guy, the main guy on TikTok, go crazy. Did you see no, that? Archie? Oh, yeah. He was doing a little bit of weird shit. Oh, so one of the main guys, he went just absolutely ape shit crazy on TikTok, like posting the most insane things, doing these insane dance moves. And everyone was like, are you OK? I yeah. think I was like, no, I'm on Riverdale. <laughs> 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 like, no way. I'm the okay. main concern was that he had so much prolonged eye contact in those videos. Yeah, was oh. I'm just bad like... at eye contact. Are you good at eye contact? I'm not looking in your eyes. <laughs> uh, I mean, not like right now, because like I glued like my eyes shut a little bit. <laughs> and so like, you know, when you start to cry and your makeup is just fucked up on one yeah. side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that's where you're at. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't see. I've been there. I look like a uh, toddler painted on my face today. I tried to do new makeup, tried to be all cool and shit. The match green my sweater. Your sweater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> and that's okay. And that's all right. <laughs> hey, we're trying and we're learning. Yeah. I look like I went to CBS real quick and just like <laughs> grabbed anything I could find. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, it's free. 
<laughs> just like open the tester and you're like, okay, guys, colors. Just put it back. <laughs> yeah. There's like massive fingerprints in it. It's like that's disgusting. It's you hit all under your fingernails. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I didn't steal anything. Uh, no, it looks good. No, that makes. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> You should go back and steal it. I should wear a ski mask. Yeah, we'll go back and steal it for you. And you'll get ramen and cigarettes with the order. Yes. yes. DIY crafts. Beautiful. Oh, we're just all over the place. Yeah, we are it. all over the place. But I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's yeah. good. Um, because we've had a couple people come in here and we're, we don't do interviews a lot uh-huh. on this pod. It's usually just us. But we're in LA and we're like everyone's here. Mm-hmm. And we've had some interviews where we just like. St- they gave us nothing. And yeah, we, we'd we're like, ah. like we don't have anything to give them yeah. either, and it's very awkward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's like talking to like Instagram models a little bit. Yeah, they yeah. can be fun, but like, yeah, damn. it's fun. Like if you can like fuck with them a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my favorite thing to do. Unfortunately, it doesn't make me sound like a great person, but if you can fuck with someone and they have no idea it's happening. It's a lot of fun. We're not doing that today with you <laughs> yeah, at all. This is a prank. <laughs> yeah, prank. You guys can, like, hose me down. your ass. Yeah. Chet, come on out. <laughs> Chet, you up. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Chet, thanks. Beat the shit out of me. The only thing you can oh, do no. right. <laughs> oh, not no. clickbait. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So you can power up for springtime with Factor. It's America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. So you can get nutritious, chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. You can look and feel your best in time for warmer weather with calorie smart meals. I'm at a movie premiere right now and I am doing these ads and there are someone whistling in the background and you know what? We are going to freaking beast out with it, okay? So you can look and feel your best in time for warmer weather with calorie smart meals around 550 calories or less. So with Factor, you can skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. That's the best part about Factor's Fresh. So it's never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat up and enjoy. Prepared by chefs, approved by dietitians. Each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long. So you can get Factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes no prep no mess i love factor the best part about factor like i said is it comes straight to you you don't really need to prepare anything you just heat it up and you're good to go so you can head to factormeals.com slash plan brief 50 and use code plan brief 50 to get 50 percent off your first box that's code plan brief 50 at factormeals.com slash plan brief 50 to get 50 percent off your first box let's get back to the show at least crazy yeah. uh, like no seriously it's crazy like there's a lot of people that we were talking to while we were here and like a lot of them haven't finished high school yeah. and they just had to like grow up so fast mm-hmm. and i don't know like where 16. i'm going with this yeah they're like 16 oh shit yeah we killed him off <laughs> he's gonna be on riverdale as a super senior <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's a jock <laughs> oh, man, yeah chad what were you saying though la's crazy as fuck la's crazy um i don't know really where i was going with that i think i just wanted to ask when did you move here (laughs) like late 2019 i do have a la is crazy story i've been hit by a car in la (laughs) holy shit you know that oh i was fine but you know that tweet where it's like getting hit by a car so embarrassing especially if you don't die Mm -hmm. (laughs) it was i got hit on a car on college campus it was the most humiliating thing what you were in a car i got hit by a van a minivan yeah in a crosswalk were you okay yeah i was fine were you fine um, I had like really black ankles for like a month. Black ankles? Yeah. You break your ankles? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't check. But like, um, <laughs> Did you just get right up? Yeah. Well, no, it's kind of funny. Like, um, I was wearing a Christmas sweater that said like uh, nuts deep in Christmas. Oh, hell yeah. Because I did like an ad for like Spencer's. Yeah. And so I pre-gamed this like Christmas Eve party and I was walking in this like crosswalk. The walk sign was on. This guy didn't like break soon mm-hmm. enough. So he like hit me and I rolled up on the hood of his car. Oh no, not the roll. <laughs> no, I was, I, oh. <laughs> you either bounce this way or roll on. But like literally when I hit the car, I was like, oh jeez. <laughs> Oh jeez! <laughs> but, <laughs> but I like rolled off, and I was like laying on the ground, and he rolled down his window. He's like, "I'm so sorry, but I've got to go." And I was like, "Quick hit and run action!" <laughs> and so then he like long. he like drove off, and I was like, "It is Christmas Eve, you know." <laughs> He's I just, busy. I don't want to ruin his holidays. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> yes. But thankfully, I was a little bit drunk, so like I, t- I just spit. I just took the hit really well. <laughs> well, and then you, you had a great yourself? story when you got to the party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, look at my ankles. <laughs> just hit my car. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, were you, you were by yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
It's so embarrassing. It really is the most embarrassing thing in the world. Yeah, it's it's just like, oh, it's all right. Like, I was like, I felt more bad for him. I was like, it's fine. It's no, good. You're good, dude. I don't want to do this to you right now. Yeah, I know. You got a family. My parents are homophobic. They wouldn't even know I was gone. Like, it's totally, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, so that's crazy LA story. Is that your craziest LA story? Um, I have a semi crazy one i don't yes. know like the second time i did coke was in um <laughs> the abbey bathroom but i don't think it was coke because i literally ran three miles home oh <laughs> i don't th- i don't i don't think it was coke three but, miles for real yeah and i smoked an entire pack of cigarettes right before <laughs> and so like the next morning i was throwing up so hard you know that like throw up where like your f- it feels like all the veins in your face is gonna oh, pop oh, yeah. sometimes they do <laughs> yes yeah. they do i popped oh, so yeah. many blood vessels in my eyes from throwing up i need to come to a meeting (laughs) (laughs) one day (laughs) one day yeah almost there wait so okay kind of back to being serious but what made you get sober um so like i was like real i realized um i was drinking like every day like Mm. mainly like almost like a handle Mm -hmm. kind of yeah it was a lot okay I pickled my liver, but, um, no. So like, I realized, (laughs) like, I was like, why am I drinking? And then I was like, oh, because like, I'm anxious. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that like immediately like calms down my nervous system is if I have a drink. And so then I get nervous around one and then I start drinking and then I'm like, oh my God, my day's gone. Yeah. You just can't stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm hungover and I'm like, I'm anxious again, shaky. So what's going to fix that drinking. Mm -hmm. And so then I like, I asked my doctor like up my anxiety medication and that helped like calm my nerves and I wasn't as shaky and I was like oh if I just deal with the anxiety first like the addiction part won't be as hard Mm -hmm. and so like it's been almost two months oh yeah yeah. congratulations but I have relapsed so many times so that's not even like impressive (laughs) I've like I mean it happens yeah 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 yeah. um it's I was just saying with the last podcast uh, because she said the same thing it's like it's so tough to announce that you're sober because like then everyone like kind of holds you accountable and like oh yeah won't like let up on it even if you do like if, if you do like slip up yeah yeah they're like well fucking told you yeah, it's fucking yeah. told you that was gonna happen it just like sucks it's like yeah you, you share that with people and then they just like rip you apart whether you're doing it or not yeah mm-hmm. or like if you act like a little bit weird they're like are you drinking again yeah. Yeah. and you're yeah. like no i'm just fucking weird I'm just trying yeah. to be a little silly for you guys <laughs> yeah. what do you want <laughs> without drinking. i was just making it funny oh my gosh the stupidest thing though is like i'll tell stories of like when i have been drunk mm-hmm. and they're like but i thought you were sober and i was like i have been drunk in the it's, past so yeah that's why it's like how we got here like yeah. i used to drink a lot <laughs> yeah. here. Like, i'm just gonna get rid of those stories yeah. that's, that's just not who yeah, i do you am you feel anymore. like you can't talk about like past shit because people get mad? No, I just feel like people are like so fucking dumb. It's like how mm. I used to be straight and like uh, used to be straight, but like all like I've dated a lot of dudes. And so like whenever people are like talking about guys, I'm like, yeah, I dated this guy. And they're like, you dated this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm like, yes, I, I dated a guy. You didn't have it all the way figured out yeah. when you were born? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you dated guys, what? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, it's the same shit with sober shit, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, um, when did you come out as fully lesbian? <laughs> fully, yeah. You were done with the yes. guys. When were you like, it's, I'm a lesbian? Uh, I came out as bi first because, like, I wanted to, like, um, in, like, 2017. Okay. Yeah, because, like, I still wanted, like, my parents to love me. Yeah. But, no, it's it's totally fine. I don't like them. Um, but, like, Fuck em. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then I just came out as a lesbian in, like, the end of 2020 because I realized, like, I don't, I'm not attracted to men mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're done. The ship has sailed. Mm-hmm. How was that coming out like online and with your family? That was fine. Uh, but the crazy thing was, was like the, my demographics. So like when I came out as bi, mm-hmm. like 30% of the guys that followed me just unfollowed me. That's really? Crazy. And then when I came out as lesbian, it was like another 30%. And so it's like that thing of where like a girl gets a boyfriend and posts him on Instagram. Yes. Yeah. And then people mass unfollow and you're like, oh my God, did these guys think that they were going to date me? Yeah. yeah did they, you know, like, do they actually think they were going to fuck thousand. you? Like, yeah. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> so crazy. Bizarre. So was it, is it crazy to see like your transition of demographic? Cause I feel like your uh, content has changed a lot. Like yeah. you, you've like, I don't know, become more of yourself online, but mm. do the same people follow you? Do you have like a new audience now? 
Um, I have a lot of like the same people, yeah. but like it's less men. Like men don't mm. really slide into my DMs unless they're like totally lost <laughs> or like English is not their first language yeah. and it's like abundantly clear. <laughs> they're but, they're actually asking for directions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to get to the. I think I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, it's, I do have a lot of new followers, but mm-hmm. since I've been online so long, like, people mainly, like, they either stick around or they, like, check back in. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, you're still here after three years. I'm like, yeah, I'm still doing this. <laughs> I got hit by a car and everything. Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> you should I'm still see my standing. ankles. <laughs> I'm eating pussy with black ankles, <laughs> but I'm still here. <laughs> yes. I'm still living. Thanks for checking in. <laughs> oh, the black ankles thing is so crazy. It is yeah. so funny. <laughs> I've been in urgent care, like, a lot recently. <laughs> you got good insurance. Uh, no, not really, but I do have insurance. It just like never covers anything that happens to me. Mm. <laughs> like the last what, time. What else have you been to urgent care <laughs> yes. for? Um, the most recent time I was having anal in the shower. Okay. And then I, I didn't realize like it, it was just dry, mm-hmm. but like it was like, you know, shower water. So mm-hmm. it's like whatever. And so then like I, <laughs> we went to party city to buy like a gun, like a fake gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, for a second, it took me a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Texas. They yeah. sell those now. <laughs> but like, um, I was like, oh my god, I've got to, I've got to shit. And so like, I asked the guy to like unlock the door, and it's like a paper thin door, and I like sit down. But before I, I'm about to sit down, and I just fart blood all over oh, the, no. all over the toilet. <laughs> I farting blood in the party city. But um, <laughs> I cleaned it up, and so then I went to the urgent care, and the guy was like, "Do I know you?" And I was oh, like, "No." <laughs> I don't know. Treadmill girl. No. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> yeah, but like, no, um, he, a couple months earlier, I went into urgent care because I broke my nose when someone sat on my face. Oh, my oh shit. And so it was the same guy. <laughs> yes. And then the time before that, I got like such a bad UTI that I got a kidney infection. Oh, hell so yeah. So it was, but it was perfectly three months apart. <laughs> and I realized that the guy who checked me in for farting blood was the same guy each time. No. And they're all for like sex related things. He's like, oh my God, wash your fucking hands. Use <laughs> Lube. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah. But then, like, when they were checking out my butthole, um, he How was did they like, check it out? They literally, like, Whoa. Check yeah, it yeah. Out. And yeah. I, he was like, Can I take a look? And I was, I was like, oh. oh my God, you look like my old landlord. Like, but sure, take a gander. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm so sorry. It's a mess back there. But like, yeah. <laughs> yes. but I've like, been inside your house. You've been <laughs> inside of my ass. It's just all the same. <laughs> but like, oh, uh, yeah. I just tore some stuff in there. But it's fine now. That's it's good. Like it's good. Antibiotics. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. okay. So, yeah. No, no problem there. Black ankles. Yeah. Um, kidney infection. Yes. <laughs> Sex God. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, unfortunate luck, really, truly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so that's a, the last time you went back was for the bloody asshole. Nothing recent. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Let's mm-hmm. keep that just check it in. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah think- keep it going. No, yeah, I need to do something <laughs> weird, like break yet? all my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. Hey, Doc, look at this. <laughs> you should start switching up urgent care so you don't look so yes. insane. Well, I moved, so I can't go to the one that okay, I was, like, going. Damn it. Yeah, I, I miss him. It was almost like yeah. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just an elaborate bit going on and on. You've been on it. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, so you are in urgent care a lot, mm-hmm. and you're making podcasts. What else are you doing in LA? Um, I started doing stand up. Oh, oh really? Yeah, so did she. Nice. Oh, you did? Yeah. Just yeah. Can't, yeah, I'm just dipping my toes in right now. It is so fun, but so like, I went to, like, the shows are great, but like, open mics are horrendous. Okay, so here's the thing about open mics, and I don't know if it's just New York or LA, or, like, everywhere, but in New York, at open mics, it's all comedians. They're mm-hmm. all trying their own jokes out, yeah. and they don't want to laugh at you. Literally last night, it oh, was yeah. like a bunch of like dudes. Like I was like, this shit is so funny. You yeah. guys are like inbred. Like this is <laughs> this is so and like um, but like the guy comedians, they were trying their jokes and they were so bad. Uh-huh. Like the one guy was like, like asked a girl like, what's your favorite type of porn? And she's like. I like redheads. And then he was like, you can do better. You know, do you use that rose vibrator? And she was like, no. And he's like, oh, so you're a prude. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is just <laughs> weird. The yeah. last time we were here, we went to the um, comedy store and it was brutal. Oh that one God. guy, he was just. We had to walk out. It we was had like, to leave. What? It was so bad. He was racist, homophobic, uh, like covered just, all the bases. No one was laughing. So we kept getting more racist it or was homophobic. Tara <laughs> in a mask. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unzip it's me. Don't you guys like comedy? <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> Jack just jumps out. Yes. Naked. They should date. <laughs> they should date. <laughs> That's 
put them together. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, but it was so bad. He just, like, no one was laughing, so we thought if he got more racist yeah. and homophobic, the laughs would come out. And yeah. It was just and so fucking bad. He ended it with, you guys just don't like to laugh. We're like, all right, we're going. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're like, out of here. We are done. <laughs> what does it feel like to be up there and no one's laughing? Um, I don't really care because I didn't respect the audience. <laughs> like, I, uh, most of them were comedians. And since I went, like, almost dead last, I listened to all their stuff. I was like, I don't care about any of you. Yeah, because you know? I didn't even think you were funny. Yeah, yeah. so, like, I my friend filmed it with, like, a nice camera. I was like, this is all I need because, like, everyone's like, you need clips on, mm-hmm. like, your Instagram. And no one did laugh because they're all comedians. So mm-hmm. I'm—I don't even care. I'm gonna ask my editor to put fucking laughs in laugh track. Yeah, like, yeah. like it, it would be even funnier to put a laugh track that's like so obviously a laugh track. Like the it's iCarly like Jerry, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or what's the show? The Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, people do that. I see. I see people do laugh tracks all the time on TikTok mm-hmm. with their comedy. You need clips too. I know, but so uh, a comedian told me that if you're gonna be using those jokes like over and over again you should not post clips of those jokes so that it's like fresh and new for people to see the next time but if it's something like relevant that comes out like that you're yeah. only gonna joke about for like a week or two yeah then that's what you clip or in crowd work that's why a lot of comedians post their crowd work mm-hmm. because it, it, they're not gonna repeat crowd work you're not gonna get the yeah. same guys every time yeah, yeah. have yeah. you ever done crowd work um, no, but I heard some last night. It was just so fucking awful. This guy was like, my bitch just got an abortion. And this girl was like, ha ha, Saturday night. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, he was like, what? Did you get an abortion Saturday night? She's like, no, I went to Chick-fil-A. And I was like, <laughs> so it's like you couldn't even do crowd work. <laughs> so what? Crowd work is crazy. Saturday night. <laughs> Saturday night. Did they what set the that fuck? up? Did you know her? <laughs> no. She just became sentient. And she was like... <laughs> No, I was like, I couldn't, I probably couldn't even do it last night. But the only other time I've done like stand up was at Straight for Pay. And that was really fun because it was mm-hmm. all gay people. But last night, the people who were talking were just like, not, I don't know. They were it, just, it wasn't hitting. It's just, yeah. 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 Well, we, when you had your comedy show a couple weeks ago, and there was just one kid sitting in the front, and he, oh. his face was just like, I knew everyone was going to pick on him. Like, he just looked so, like, doe eyed and just happy to be there. <laughs> Every single comic that went up yeah. went up and just ripped him apart. It was, so, they just kept calling him gay. And he was like, I think he was gay too. It was so fucking sad. And by the end of the brutal. night, I was like, he was crying. Oh. I was like, this is the saddest thing I've ever for witness in my life if there's one thing i could say if 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 you want to be not not i don't, don't know crowd worked on don't sit in the front do not row. sit in the front yeah yeah and the, the spotlight was just happened to be on him the whole oh, show the, the, whole <laughs> <concert>. <laughs> so the stage is completely black and it's just on him, <laughs> it's just him. Yeah. he's waiting for a new he's like i just wanted to laugh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're, they're like what do you what do you do for work he's like oh i'm an accountant there's like you're a fucking idiot the <laughs> an accountant. Like, why are you a loser <laughs> yeah he was it was so sad and i was happy you went up and didn't make fun of him i was like he caught a break too nervous yeah. and drunk <laughs> and like yeah. 10 beers before it went up <laughs> you know just to take the edge off yeah, <laughs> yeah, I yeah i'm right behind you on that mm. i guess yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was like um when i i saw like crowd work one time that i thought was so fucking funny that because the comedian just didn't okay so like this comedian was talking to this girl with like her mom and the comedian was like um you like your mom and then the girl's like yeah and then the comedian's like you like your dad and she's like no <laughs> and he was like why and then she's like you know he's like a short catholic guy and then the mom's like yeah he's one of those and so like we were in a gay club so i was like oh he's catholic he's probably homophobic mm-hmm. and then the comedian's like what do you mean by that and the girl was like well he hates that i have a really hard time experiencing empathy and the mom's like what he's so annoying and i was like <laughs> i was like you sound like I'm sorry and then the comedian was like whatever I was like oh no 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 we could diagnose someone right here you know like I feel like if I was on stage I'd be like um do you also like torture animals yeah. like I just I, well, you could have totally went down with yeah. that would have been awesome yeah. I've been scoping out any schools recently yeah. the mom's like held hostage she's like yeah he sucks yeah. <laughs> such an asshole no but she was like serious she's like ugh he's so annoying wow. I just imagine this like really nice guy just tortured at home and he's yeah. like short and catholic and that's it in the shed just tied up. Yes. Like just praying to God she doesn't yes. kill him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Holy shit. I actually feel bad for the baby. Yes. It's crazy thing to say out loud. He just like does against it. Don't show my yes. Why would you say yeah, that? he sucks. Yeah. That's the mom. 
<laughs> We're just hard ass bitches. We have no feelings. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> okay, so is do you think comedy in a well, it obviously is in a gay club is better than whatever you did the other night with all the straight comedians? Yeah, yeah. but I also think like maybe it's like a little bit skewed because like you said, it's like all comedians in the crowd. Yeah. yeah. So they're just waiting for like their turn to speak. Yeah. yeah like they just listening. don't even give a fuck what you're about to say. Yeah. yeah. And def- they'll talk over it. They'll talk yeah. behind like while you're doing it like mm-hmm. in the back they'll yeah. just like be talking so loud it's yeah. like wouldn't you respect someone else that's also doing the same thing you're doing yeah yeah i don't get that i feel like the straight audience would be fine as long as they're there to laugh and they're not just yeah comedians yeah yeah, yeah. that's true yeah it just depends on people actually going to see comedy mm-hmm. so every time you do do a uh, set and it's comedians it's so awkward it's i want to turn so on and say stop well i had a run-in we had a run-in when i, I did like a practice run through mm-hmm. um like the monday before that show all right guys quick commercial break so this show is brought to you by better help getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process especially because we're always growing and changing me and grace always talk about how we don't even know who we are from last week especially through the years through the pandemic shit's been crazy so therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way that we do until we talk through things so better help connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on the journey of self-discovery from wherever you are uh whether or not you've been in therapy before if you've tried it or if you haven't Therapy is something that I think everyone needs talking about your feelings and what you're going through. It's kind of the only way to figure out a solution to things that you need. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, definitely give BetterHelp a try. It's not intimidating at all. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. So all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched and licensed with a therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge because BetterHelp knows that it might be hard to find the perfect match for you. So you can switch whenever. Also, you don't even need to turn your your camera on if you don't want to it's whatever makes you comfortable so discover your potential with better help you can visit betterhelp.com slash plan brie to get 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp h-e-l-p.com slash plan brie make sure to check it out get your brains right girls and it was like my my buddy's bar he had just opened it I, i've told this on the podcast but he had just opened it and he had all his boys from college try stand up for the first time they were tough, but it was their first time. It was yeah. their first time doing it, but it was just... Um, it was inside jokes with the frat boys. It was basically, yeah, it was basically like a best man speech after a best man speech after a best man speech. But there were these people that walked into the bar and they were just talking over, yeah, like, all of them the whole time. And I'm like, oh, I really don't want to stand up for these guys because they're not, like, that great. But, like, I mean, it is, like, really rude and, like, they couldn't stop talking. Yeah. So I went over to them and I'm like, I, I, I meant to say can you guys please come down like can you please like be quiet but yeah. i just went over there and i'm like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> these guys are doing their craft they've never done cam- yeah. comedy ever a day in their life they're doing their craft though yeah. right and I, when i heard craft i was like oh man <laughs> like, we yeah. have to fight now. we're gonna have to fight them <laughs> you just but, like but you don't even work there you have like a hall monitor sash like hey guys <laughs> shut it yeah. <laughs> freaking knock it off <laughs> we just kept turning around like we owned the place we're like stop <laughs> stop <laughs> it was yeah the big shush yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then you ran away. But mm-hmm. just like I don't know, just don't fuck with the craft. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with the craft, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's someone's craft. But real. um how many how many shows have you done? Two now. Two? I'm yeah. I'm at two. Yeah. Three. Three or two. I'm at three. When's yeah. your next show? I just I'm not there yet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just I, I gotta write some do, new shit. You should do some in LA. Yeah, yeah I should. would love to. Yeah, yeah. Where I have do you no idea. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard to like just like get into. Yeah. If, do you have like friends that do it as well? I do. Yeah, but they're like everything's like once a month. Mm. So I have things planned for like March, but it's not for like two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. But like it gives you time. That's true. Do you have your shit ready to go though? Yeah, I have like a ten for straight people, a ten for gays, and then a five. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. It, I mean, it's like I mean, I could do like gay stuff in front of straight people, like <laughs> rub one out. No, like yeah, um, I was just thinking, like OnlyFans. <laughs> <fans? laughs> no, I mean like, but like gay men jokes are like easier to pick up on, uh-huh. but like lesbian stuff, there's like some I have to explain like disconnect. Like, yeah. Ne- like a niche. Like yeah. you got you got to know if you know. I only you know. got ten minutes. I don't want to be like show you how to put on <laughs> what I'm talking about. Yeah. But it crushes at the gay club. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. You got all, all the niches. Yeah. Dude, how far in advance do you write like your jokes? Because she did it what five minutes before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Are you yeah. prepared? Um. Well, all of my jokes thus far are like just something I've posted online. Okay. And just like spun it to be like more of a story mm-hmm. as opposed yeah, to like a crazy a... person speaking. Smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah. frantically, yeah. like chronically online. Like yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get this off my chest in 15 seconds. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. But you can make it into 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess you do the same stuff right yeah relatively yeah yeah 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how you guys do it. I could never get up there. That's so scary. It is. It's a. It's a rush. I love it. Yeah. I eat. I eat it up. I like. I would rather talk in front of a crowd than like, in front of a camera. Like, really? yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just like. You need that an attention seeker. Instant affirmation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Laugh and clap. Yeah. Laugh and clap. Laugh I have to clap. take out of van, but like. After that, it's pretty much fine. Have you tried, like, taking Xanax or out of hand? No. <laughs> I'm scared I'll slide down a slippery slope no. with that one. Uh, no, I haven't. But, I don't know, I couldn't do it. You guys are cool for that. Yeah, I felt a little more at ease. I did it a year ago, and I was so nervous. And, like, I was like, I'm not going up. I'm not doing it. I was like, I was, was going to pretend I got really, really sick all of a sudden. <laughs> and, um, but this time I was like, ah, fuck it. I'm doing it. And I think it's because uh, those are antipsychotics. <laughs> yeah, so you're on the pills now. I'm on the pills. <laughs> feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> My mood, stabilized. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking what was happening before. Um... Or- like in life, well, I mean, or... like the antipsychotics moment. Oh, um, I went to a mental hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just had like a meltdown. I didn't. Once I got there, I was like, I don't really yeah. need to be here. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. guys are a little more fucked up than I am, but you know, power to them and all. But uh, I just, it was, it wasn't for me. Yeah. But I got medicated fast. That's really okay. all it was. Yeah, cool. it was good. Yeah, yeah. it was quick. Yeah. yeah. It was. It, it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I had a point an utter mental breakdown. It was chill. Yeah. It was super tight. Yeah, it was probably like the chillest meltdown ever. It was literally it was so comfy with my socks, grippy socks and everything. Yeah. It was quick though. And it got medicated, so it's it's Hella medicated. <laughs> For real. Yeah. But yeah, I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. And um Yeah. Anybody uh I got nothing. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been to a mental hospital? Yes, I had a, I technically didn't finish college. Like I like went through to like my senior, my last semester senior year, mm-hmm. but like the finals got to me and I had like this mental breakdown. And, um, but like grades were submitted after we walked. Mm-hmm. So I got to walk, oh. but then like the oh. next week I that was like- to my roommate. Yeah. You, did, you didn't graduate, right? It was us. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't graduate, but I got to walk and yeah. my family was there. So they were like, fine, you know? Did That's they know? Me. Um, no, they didn't know until like my mom like looked on my Twitter and I was like, oh my God, guys, I didn't graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how far, Thanks how far after that? Um, that was like a couple months after. All right. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not fresh anymore. She can't be mad. No, yeah. <laughs> she was pissed though, but like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, like I was it. on Vine and then like I started to make money. So she's like, you have a job. It yeah. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Yeah. So then the, the mental breakdown came after that. The mental breakdown was, um, during finals. Oh, oh okay. okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what was your major? Um, marketing and business analytics with a minor in social media. Uh, oh, social media? There we go. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit, I didn't even know you could do that. Well, yeah. it was like marketing for social media, but okay. the official title was like social media. Do you think you like use it at all? Yeah. Yeah. I sell myself all the time. Hell Fuck yeah. 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 Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. We're selling that shit. <laughs> Where did you go to college? Oh, Old Dominion in Virginia. In Virginia, okay. Yeah, yeah. Did you like it? It was a college it was like i don't know it was in the middle of like seven cities Mm -hmm. so there was like a it was a huge commuter school but it was also like um i don't know i don't fucking um it was fun yeah yeah Yeah. where'd you guys go to school i went to a random small school in cleveland for no reason i think like literally (laughs) three thousand people went there i'm from boston i just went it was so weird that was that's so crazy because like i feel like everyone from new england like goes to school in the south or like anywhere but new england yes all all northeast people go down south yeah Yeah. it's so weird like you'll go down what because we do we did like college tours and shit Mm -hmm. and we would go to like alabama and georgia and shit and everyone be like yeah i'm from new jersey i'm from massachusetts i'm from new york it's like what but the ones that were from where they are hated me Really? Did you? Yeah, I would dress up in um like like outfits and bits. Oh. Like when we went to Alabama, I dressed as a sorority girl with like a blonde wig and everything. They were pissed. And then when I went to um what was the one that with the with the red Georgia. Georgia. When mm-hmm. I went to Georgia, I dressed up in a big red um like blow up costume. Uh-huh. But you're supposed to wear a, an elegant dress for the tailgates yeah, and look the really there nice. Yeah, heels and, oh. and dresses. Yeah. And I was getting some dirty looks from from like the alumni from 13 generations over. <laughs> They're like, ah, <laughs> shut a woman. <laughs> they were <Yeah>. pissed. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. What was the red blow up suit? Was it like? Oh, their colors were red. So oh. I just like okay. I was like, yeah. I'm not wearing a pretty. <laughs> 
pretty gowned to the <laughs> yeah. so we're I wore my gown. <laughs> <laughs> yes. People literally wore it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was they nuts. had their gowns on and like their high heels, but we're we're tailgating like in grass, so you see all the girls walking. They just start like going down like yes. yeah. <laughs> It was so funny to watch. And then we were fine with our football jerseys <laughs> and our red suits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, people hated us. But yeah, it is weird. Everyone from Northeast totally does go down south. Are you yeah. from yeah. Virginia? Um, so I'm a, a military brat, so I'm from everywhere. Oh, okay. cool. But yeah, I tell everyone I'm from South Carolina because that's where I've lived the longest. Okay. okay. Where else have you lived? Um, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Florida, Hawaii, California, Holy shit. Pennsylvania, a couple other places. How was that growing up? Um, just like, I guess, I mean, it was fine. I feel like I can talk to like any sort of person mm-hmm. now, you know? Mm. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know. It was hard like keeping friends and then like when like MySpace came around, mm. I just like friended them on myspace and mm-hmm. that's how i stayed in contact with people but how, i feel like how long were you at like each spot like two years oh shit that's kind of sad because you probably make so many friends and then you have to leave them yeah oh my god okay so like um i went from Beaufort, south carolina to woodbridge virginia mm-hmm. and that was like halfway through like high school and um then when i was like blowing up on vine this person like saw me on twitter and they were like oh my god you're sarah shower we went to beginning of high school together Mm -hmm. and i was like yeah oh my god hey and she's like did you actually stab a teacher what and i was like what and she's like everyone (laughs) thought that you left the school because you stabbed a teacher was there a stabbed teacher no and i was like i was like i didn't have all the things i could have (laughs) done stabbed a teacher and to meet as an adult like after the fact you'd be like (laughs) you'd still believe that i know i I stabbed the teacher I was just like, I never, no, I didn't stab anyone. That's some Riverdale shit. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Real, <laughs> crazy. It wasn't even a full moon. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> my claws running yeah. out. <laughs> just a black up. ankle. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, they thought you were a woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't shaved and broke my ankles. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. shit. That's crazy. I know. And then how do you carry out the conversation, like, you have to like defend yourself like yeah. no i totally didn't <laughs> yes. i totally did not <laughs> stab so the guilty. teacher <laughs> <laughs> like, um, they say you did i yeah. would think about that for a while <laughs> damn that whole town thinks i fucking stabbed teacher. yeah <laughs> what like, makes them think i stabbed <laughs> i thought i left like mysterious and fine you know, they all think i'm a psycho <laughs> yeah so well, i don't up. think that this is you're a you're a walking myth in their town <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's on the run <laughs> yeah she's white vulture <laughs> holy shit that's fucking awesome wait how was hawaii um it was 98 to 2001, so it was... Oh, I, you were... I was, like, a little bit... Okay. Four. I was, yeah, <laughs> was a little bit four. A little I was bit. total... <laughs> she's a little bit four. I was a four back then. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Hawaii four. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it was fun. Like, um, it was in elementary school... I don't remember a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you go do you go from uh Hawaii to California? Yeah, yeah. And then did you spend a lot of time in California? Um kind of. We were at Camp Pendleton, which I think is like an hour and a half south of here. Okay. Yeah, oh, cool. and that was pretty fun. Uh started my period for the first time. That's oh, all I remember. Oh, hell yeah, on the base like yes. that? Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Some recruit proposed to me. <laughs> I'm a like, oh, age. you are you are yes. fresh. You are yeah. new. Finally. <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> I'm on you. <laughs> <laughs> so so really when fun. did you move to LA for like social media? Um December of twenty nineteen. Oh, kind of recent. Yeah. Yeah. I just got fired from my advertising job. And oh, so okay. I was like... So you still got a job without graduating. That is true. Yeah. Oh, I've got oh, multiple yeah. jobs. But I mean, like, no one really calls, mm-hmm. like, your university and is like, did you graduate? Unless it's, like, Harvard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would double... double- check that for sure yeah yeah <laughs> i would totally lie about harvard i feel like if you told people that you went to like reno community college no one's gonna call like <laughs> yeah. for a reference did you really yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sure <laughs> that's actually great advice don't go to college kids just pretend you went to reno community yeah, yeah. like a believable like college from your area yeah you went to ohio state yeah you look it you know <laughs> <It's> like, yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you moved here in 2019 and then you were just social media full time? Yeah. Um, I used to work at BuzzFeed and then I just oh. never showed up again. Oh, <laughs> oh, you were you were silent quitting before it was cool. Yeah. I nice. just you started literally that shit. walked out of the building and just never came back. Did you just not fuck with them or? They were just like, um, they were really nice. Um, I worked with like the animators. Um, I did like copy for them because um, they have like a, some series mm-hmm. and I was just like, they don't really need me. <laughs> Honestly, and I'm so good. They're good. We'll be fine. I just left my computer there, and I was, and they texted me, and I was like, 
I didn't respond. It was just, <laughs> I was like, what am I supposed to say? They probably think you yeah. killed the boss. <laughs> yes, they're like really nice people. <laughs> you, you never reached no. out. No. Oh, I was just no. like, but I, I mean, it's I too late. Yeah. If it's going to burn a bridge, it might as well be BuzzFeed. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. But then I started doing YouTube full time and that took off. Like, it's kind of sad how like the pandemic was so good to content creators. Yes. I so bad. Yeah. Yeah. The majority of the country. How you got your job? Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, it wasn't. Which job where? Nope, wrong. Wrong-o. Okay. wrong-o. Yeah. wrong <laughs> It's okay, we're all wrong sometimes. She left BuzzFeed and didn't even tell <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm wrong? No, you did what you had to do. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't stab me. <laughs> <laughs> don't stab me. All I have is two lighters. <laughs> I, just, I don't even have a knife. <laughs> I've just been like, I've been literally like spurring them in my jacket. I'm like, oh my God, these could set on fire. <laughs> An adult fidget spinner. <laughs> Light our hair on fire. <laughs> Going out with an exit. Have you got anything cool in your pockets? Uh, just fuck. I got nothing. Oh, the pandemic mask. Oh shit! Wow, that's that artifacts. must be an old jacket, bro. Yeah, it Ooh. is. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. So, um, you so when you moved here, Vine was over. Yeah. You were doing YouTube. Yeah. Nice. And so, like, from YouTube, how many years was that in between, like TikTok? Um. I did TikTok. I started TikTok before. I, well, I mean, I was doing TikTok and YouTube at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, so probably the same time. Like I started TikTok in like September of 2019. Got fired in September of 2019 for a TikTok. <laughs> oh, really? What was <laughs> it? Where were you working? Um, I was working at this like place that it was like an advertising company, mm-hmm. and they did like a bunch of like national brands. And when they fired me, they it was literally day of. Like they didn't give me two weeks. They like <laughs> called me into a meeting, and they were like, everyone was at lunch, and they're like, leave your computer and just leave and oh, so they didn't tell me you why had practice <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's where I got inspired for BuzzFeed no um <laughs> but they were like uh they were just like I was like I'm being fired f- why and they were just like you know we just think it's for the best I was like you did and then I was like I need money and they were like well if you go get unemployment just tell them whatever and we'll agree with it. And I was like, what shady ass advertising. Yes, yeah, so I was like, I was fired illegally. But then, like, I followed up just because I needed it in writing because I didn't want to, like, lie to yeah. the government. Yeah, that's never good. Yeah. And so, like, <laughs> just look at chat. They were like, <laughs> yeah. Um, we just thought it was, like, this one TikTok. And so, like, they thought that I wrote the TikTok about them. And it was, like, making fun of a certain company, but it wasn't even a company that we worked for. And I was like, I know that I didn't write that about you because that is a joke from my time hop from three years ago. Oh, and shit. And I can actually show you the joke that I wrote it before I started working there. Oh, but they, What was it? Um, you know, it was something stupid along the lines of, like, you know, like, when people put in their bio, like, my views are my own and do not reflect my employer. Like, I was like, do you think the official stance of, like, Build-A-Bear is, like, pee is stored in the balls or something (laughs) where it was like something about like a company that I guess they were pitching and so they were like we don't want any sort of bad blood with them but I was like I don't even tell anyone where I work yeah and this is one TikTok oh fuck did you like the job um yeah I kind of did like the job oh that's shitty yeah Mm. but this is a fucked up way to fire someone just like uh, I don't know whatever you want to say that's yeah. what it was that's yeah. it mm-hmm. what did you end up saying did you do unemployment I didn't do anything because like I didn't want to lie and like the, I mean like I'm scared of like taxes yeah. like I'll Me steal too. something yeah. from time to time but like lying to the government I'm like this is I don't know what I could get in trouble for yeah yeah, yeah. it's scary they don't tell you yeah they don't teach you mm-hmm. you're so just you're arrested just, you find out just when you find out <laughs> <laughs> my biggest fear is being framed for murder but I guess that's a whole different thing I guess you were kind of framed for murder yeah stabbing yeah. my teacher uh-huh. yeah but you didn't go to jail. Your biggest fear is being framed. It's for so weird. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so terrified of it. But we'll explain it if you when you explain it, it makes sense. It's okay. Like, imagine you're in jail and you really didn't kill the person, but everyone in jail is like, "I didn't do it," but you actually didn't do it. That's a big fear. Yeah. It's yeah. Like no one believes you. Yeah, no one believes Damn. you because everyone's like, "I didn't do it," but you're like, "I really didn't do it." Yeah. yeah. What's your biggest fear? Being shot in a drive-through. Okay. Oh shit. Specific. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you ever go through a drive-through and there's like a wall? Yeah. And then there's someone behind you in front of you. Yeah. So like you can't even oh, back gotcha. out. Yeah. yeah. You're shot. You just yeah. have to pull forward and get your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Supersize that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gushing blood everywhere. Okay. What's your biggest fear? Schizophrenia. Oh, yeah. That's just in the back of my head. I know. I feel like you're yeah. going to manifest it, though. I know I keep doing that. Does it run in your family? No. 
but it just it's just very scary to me. It's a terrible, awful disease. Yeah. Also, Alzheimer's sucks really bad too. Yeah. yeah. These are realistic it's like, fears. It's like though. losing your yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Hashtag deep. Yeah, and like yeah. when you start showing signs of Alzheimer's, it means like you're already beyond the point of yeah, like yeah. no return. It's just gonna get bad. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so tough. fucking scary. Mm-hmm. It's so fucked up. Yeah. Damn. Shit got deep for a second there. Shit did get deep. Yeah. Uh, want to try some stand up? Right now? <laughs> well, that's putting someone on the spot. Okay, you don't yeah, have to do it if you don't yeah, want to. Yeah, do a joke. <laughs> God. Um, do you want to hold the mic like it's a uh, <laughs> like you're up there? Let me think of a joke. Wait. Oh, crap. Okay, I do have something. Okay. Right. So the first girl I ever wanted to hit on, um, sh- I was working at this cafe by my house, and um, I ordered my coffee. Well, like, I sat down on my computer, ordered my coffee, and then the girl making my drink was really hot. So I was like, I need something, you know, say hi, you know, <laughs> not just that's mine. <laughs> so, like, um, I was just thinking of something, and I started to listen to the music in the cafe, and I was like, where do I know this song from? Like, it was so, I was like, I know this from somewhere. It was the music to Two Girls, One Cup. Oh my god! Like you know that that music that was playing in the background, and so like I was like, this is great. And so she calls my name, and I was like, hey, do you know that this is the music that plays in Two Girls One Cup? And she's like, Two Girls One Cup. And I was like, oh no, have you you never seen it? (laughs) You show her? No, 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 no. I was like, you know what? (laughs) I don't want to check this out. I have it in my favorites. No, like um, I was like, never mind, nothing. Like and so I go to like sit back down, and she goes to her coworker. And like they're talking, and then her coworker laughs, and I'm like, oh fuck, like, she's gonna show her. She pulls out her phone, and then just like 30 seconds later, her face is like, oh, oh, and I was like, like just like to her, I was like, sorry, like I, like, I was, I was so, I go. uh, so far away. I was like, there's so much cultural context you're missing. Like everyone's seen it. It's like, a phenomenon. Yeah, it's like blue waffle. Don't look that up, you know. Don't. But she's like looking up at me like occasionally, and I was like, oh, she thinks that I probably just fucking watch Love this. It. Yeah. Yeah. She <laughs> yeah, has no idea that it was like the craziest time yeah. of our lives yes. when we came out. It's like what? Yes. And it That's looks like hilarious. you're not trying to say like, oh, sorry. It's like, you like that? Yeah. It looks like, like yeah. soft serve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you ever go back there? <laughs> no, Fuck no. I like 7-Eleven coffee for like the rest of the year. <laughs> it's the only other option. <laughs> yes. Well, this cafe was like right next to my place or 7-Eleven. I was like, fuck. Damn it. 7-Eleven. <laughs> Gas station brew. <laughs> yes. That's fucking That's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> uh, two girls, one cup. Do you ever actually see it? I, I've I've seen some of it. I've seen some of it. I remember it was so hard to find. It's really hard to find now. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I think they like wiped it, didn't they? Yeah, somehow. I mean, those two poor bitches. Maybe I'm just an idiot. You know? <laughs> How do we find two girls? One cup? <laughs> yes. It just takes you to the dark web. <laughs> yeah. Google takes you to the dark web. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have you ever been on the dark web? No. I don't know how to get there. I'm too scared. I'm Do too you scared. know how to get there? No. Oh, fuck. No, but my we ask everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know how to get to the dark web? Please <laughs> fucking tell me. Yes. Tell me how to get there. <laughs> I wonder how you do. You, do you think you have to know a guy? I, I know it's, it's like a guy. A, I think it's like code. A code. That you have oh, to know. you gotta let. Yeah. 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 You have to be like smart. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Damn. Yeah. I wonder what's actually on it. I know you can buy, buy drugs. Drugs. Yeah. yeah. I've had like friends, but like they don't. Like, when you buy drugs, they'll send you, like, a pack of crayons just so, like, if someone does track it in the mail, they can see that it's crayons, but behind the crayons is a bunch of Coke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have so many crayons. (laughs) (laughs) Just cartons. (laughs) They get the Coke and I get the coloring book. (laughs) I'm just, like, a child, like, (laughs) crayons and lighters. My hand's, like, purple. So I did my makeup today. Crayons (laughs) and Coke. (laughs) Uh, perfect. Uh, dark web's crazy. You can like buy babies on it, right? Or is that not real? I think you can How probably much? buy children. I don't know. How much we talk? How much do you think a baby's worth? Like, I'm not saying we would buy them, but how much do you think a baby would be worth? That's quite the question. Well, okay, here's, the, here's the fucked up part. <laughs> like, putting a price on a human being is insane, but like, when you adopt a kid, there is a price to pay there. Like, yeah. it's like $50,000, I think. It's pretty expensive to buy a kid. It's like uh-huh. putting a price on the life. Yeah. Wild Shit. to think about, bro. Shit, bro. It is true. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's me smoking weed existentially. <laughs> I genuinely have no idea how much a baby is worth. That's what I know. Like, yeah. wh- how much is a baby worth? <laughs> like, you steal a baby. Like a gram of baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get, like, th- mm, yes. three ounces of that baby. <laughs> yes. I don't, like, how much would you pay, willingly? If you needed For a baby. child? You needed a baby. Or you wanted one. Why? I wonder what the better question is, is what's the scenario where you really need a baby? You can't have a baby. Okay. And oh. you really want one. Oh. Well, then... I guess a lot of people would pay like a mortgage. Yeah, probably a hundred thousand max. Yeah, that's. I think a baby's worth that. Yeah, I don't want a baby. No. Yeah. Nope. You want kids? No. No way. No. Never. No. Have you ever wanted kids? No. So you've been set on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I go back and forth. Do you want mm. kids? No. I want. I want to adopt. Mm-hmm. No, I don't want to adopt. I want to foster mm-hmm. when I have the time. Yeah, <laughs> I want to be able to give them away. I just want to be an aunt. <laughs> I wanted to foster, but well, I mean, I guess I can now. But you have to be sober to foster. Really? Yeah, because apparently alcohol is very triggering to like a lot of kids. Oh, oh yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, so that's the hard part. Yeah, about uh, fostering, it's not the children; it's the sobriety. <laughs> no, no, yes. no kids for me. Yeah. yeah, no, no kids. You could adopt, maybe. Why do you go back and forth on wanting kids? I don't know. I want to be, uh, I have cats now and I'm like, I love caring for something. I just want to be a mom, so bad, but I want to be a single mom. Okay. That's my thing that I yeah. say a lot. That's probably fucks, but I, d- I don't want anyone to have anything to do with my kids. Yeah. <laughs> I love when she says that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I literally have a boyfriend. I'm like, I want to be a single They're mom. They're mine? <laughs> like, I want to raise the kids. Oh, so you're going to need that baby money. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I want my kids to be Because you can't do it alone. Me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kind of want like stepkids really bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just be a bitch to them. No, I think it's <laughs> you so funny. You don't have funny. to love them too much. <laughs> yes. I just think it's so funny when they hate you, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. There's something so funny about them like calling me Sarah and like telling me, like, I don't know, setting my stuff on fire. Yeah. Shut up, Sarah. <laughs> You're not my mom. <laughs> Never claimed to be. But <laughs> I'm your stepmom. I gotta take you to soccer, so. <laughs> Get in. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. My, so I have half sisters and my mom was like the evil stepmom. Like, they hated her. So they mm-hmm. still kind of hate each other but it was so crazy to watch when I was older because my mom was a cunt like I would get everything and then like my sisters would come along and my mom would like so obviously treat me so much better than them it was so (laughs) fucked up it's like Jesus it's reverse Cinderella yeah yeah it was really fucking crazy I look back and I'm like oh I get why they hate my mom now did you like ever like say hey mom why are you being a bitch oh no a little scared of that one yeah yeah no I didn't my parents are pretty crazy too. Well, they're like homophobic, but like we weren't. My sister and I weren't gay. Like are when they we religious? were religious. Yeah, they're like really, really Christian. Okay. Mm. Yes, yeah, so, and they're both like they were both in the military. My dad got kicked out, but um, oh shit. I know, but it's honorable discharge. Dishonorable. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But um it was kind of funny. Like the last time I saw him, he was wearing like a veteran hat. And I was like, You got fired. <laughs> like, why would you <laughs> Stolen Valor? <laughs> yes. yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to think of ugh, my parents are dicks. This is such like, oh my gosh, how can I not think of a funny story about them being dicks? That's so me. Uh, when did you know they were homophobic? Um, when I came out. <laughs> 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 but like, were they homophobic growing up? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, those are not fun stories. But a fun story is like I told, like I was like, um, I'm a lesbian. My mom's like, I'm not homophobic because I'm not afraid of gay people. And I was like, No, that's not what homophobia is. You're and she's so like, brave. If you break down the word, homophobia. Scared of gays. Oh, shit, <laughs> and I, shit, man. She's and I was literal. Like, <laughs> but she's a doctor, so I know she's not stupid. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, shit, she's a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Damn. Do you talk to them still? Um, yeah, because my brother's getting married this year, and I um, want to go to his wedding. Mm-hmm. And they were like, they were like, Sarah, Hannah, this could have been you. And I was like, well, it still can be <laughs> y- us, but, like, you're not going to be there. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Um, are your siblings, like, um, supportive of you? Yeah, Hannah's a lesbian as well. Oh, okay. And um, Jake is... Just a clueless straight guy. <laughs> yeah. That's he's funny. your other demo of your stand up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, he's like nice about it, but he truly has no idea about gay people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so growing up in a homophobic household either makes you know nothing about gay people or makes you gay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know anything about like gay people like growing up. I knew that men could be gay, but I didn't know that girls could be gay. Mm. My sister's lesbian, so I I was crazy. I was <laughs> I think it's so crazy. <laughs> I was uh, I don't know. I was like fucking maybe, I think I was five or six and I walked in on my sister like fucking her girlfriend or something. It was crazy. And I was like, I didn't even know that that could happen. And then I thought that that meant genetically I was a lesbian. Yeah. So for maybe three years, I was like, 
I'm a lesbian. <laughs> like, she's ethically, I'm a lesbian. And I'm like, I like boys, but I'm a lesbian. Like, this is crazy. So I started wearing boxers. That's not even what lesbians do. I was like, Dad, I need boxers. He's like, okay. <laughs> Just because you saw his sister. I was like, peace. <laughs> Like, this is real. It was so fucking crazy. And then I remember I told my mom, I was like, mm, I'm a lesbian. And she's like, why? Like, she was supportive about it. Yeah. But I was like, because Justine is like, uh-huh. uh, she, my sister's a lesbian. She's like, that's not how it works. And she broke it down for me. I was like, thank God, because I love boys. <laughs> it was so crazy. Uh, that was a tough time. Imagine you, know? you never had that talk. Yeah, I'd still be confused. Very, very confused. <laughs> I have boxers on right now. Usually it's the other way around. People are like, am I a lesbian? You're like, am I straight? I know. Yeah. I know. It was so crazy. <laughs> uh, but so you you didn't know that lesbians existed. You thought it was just gay guys when you were younger. Yeah. I'd like watch like lesbian YouTubers and I'd be like, that's so cool of them. <laughs> and I'd shut the laptop. And I just. <laughs> and quit the job. Yeah, so, I wish I could do that. Damn. And then I close it. Or like I watch watch stick it and the main girl and mm-hmm. stick it like during the ice like bathtub scene i was like what's happening <laughs> there's rats in my groin <laughs> what the hell <laughs> yes. do i need to pee <laughs> like i'm just like oh i'm gay yeah yeah yes. no i get totally it totally gay <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so you think you knew when you were younger um, like you yeah. didn't know I was like surprisingly chill when my boyfriends cheated on me. <laughs> like they I would like, <laughs> like they would be like, I made out with. St-. There was a guy who made out with a girl in front of all my friends, and he told me, and he was like crying, and I was like, huh, okay. <laughs> like I thought that I was like, you know, like a like a pick me, where I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's I'm so chill. I just did not care. You actually didn't care. <laughs> yeah. You so didn't even really like the person. Yeah. Well, was she pretty? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on video on his snap story, and I'm like. Okay. How <laughs> <Yes. laughs> fucked up is that, though? <laughs> yeah, wow. What a piece of shit yeah. that guy was. Jesus. When's the last time you dated a guy? Uh, 2016. 2017, okay. maybe. And when you closed that, you were like, I'm done fully? Um, No, I still, like, since I lived in South Carolina, like, the gay scene, there was, like, almost nothing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I had boys and girls on there, but I didn't really, like, hook up with many people. Okay. Yeah, I had, like, a two-year, like, celibacy. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm working on three right now. Yeah, yeah. Really? By choice or <laughs> not by choice? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Shit's tough, man. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Wait, are you are you guys any like bi or straight? I'm confused yeah. currently. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go back and forth. I'm yeah. trying to figure that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you stuck on? I'm not sure. It's been three years, so I just I. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. 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 I get that. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get back out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I gotta talk through some stuff, maybe, <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> There's a lot of things I gotta figure out, but back to you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put on my best uh, Bill Cosby sweater today, oh, and yeah. then we found out that um, Bill Cosby is going on tour. I thought you were saying he, he got, got canceled. I was like, you just found <laughs> that out. Did you know? Yes. <laughs> He's <laughs> off the drugs. <laughs> Wait, I saw your TikTok. I loved it. Of um, like the tears of uh, yeah. offended people. That was hilarious. Did you see that? <laughs> no, I didn't ever miss that one. All okay, right, so hit us with the tears. This is like a three-minute spiel, but I'll try to like. Okay, so yeah. since I've been online so long, I don't even know if I should look at cameras. But oh, like, matter. so there's like a tier of like offended, mm-hmm. where like it's four tiers, and so like it's mainly for jokes. Like you make a joke, and um, you know the first tier is like people who are actually offended by the joke. Like you talked about them. Mm-hmm. The second tier is like people who are offended, but like very like social justice PC, which is not. I'm not saying that in a bad way. There's just no like. Like, woke is commonly thought to be, like, bad, but Mm -hmm. it's not actually... Like, these people are well-informed. Then the third tier is, like, people who are too stupid to be woke being offended. Mm. (laughs) And then the fourth people are, like, offended by you. So, like, an example is, like, um, if I said everyone who works at TJ Maxx is a nightmare, just like the store... The first tier would be the people who work at TJ Maxx who are offended. Mm-hmm. You're like, hey, man, I just need a job. Yeah. You know, then if I, the second tier offended would be like, um, 
TJ Maxx is dirty. Uh, TJ Ma- people, <laughs> TJ Maxx stopped playing. <laughs> TJ Maxx stopped paying its employees well, and that reflects in the amount of broken picture frames on the floor. <laughs> like the first tier, people who work at TJ Maxx don't give a shit. They're not mm-hmm. paid well enough to care. But the second tier is like, well, you ever thought about raising minimum wage? <laughs> you know, it's a very woke. It's like, yeah, true. Yeah. And then the third tier of people would be like, if I drank a smoothie at TJ Maxx, I left it in a baby Bjorn, and I came back a week later, and they put a price tag on it. <laughs> the third tier of <laughs> <laughs> it is too stupid to like be offended right where they're like that's really fucked up a lot of young moms need bjorns and like you should have recycled that and you're like it's a fucking joke like it's so like it's like this is too stupid to argue with and then the fourth tier is like offended by you so it doesn't even matter what the joke is mm. where like if i'm like i love tj maxx they'd be like well you're ugly yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, women should not speak and it's like they're offended so it's like i just um it's like if i say a joke I care if I don't really say anything like super controversial. If I offended the first tier, I'd apologize. If I offended the second tier, I'd be like, guys, I can do better. Mm. If I offend the third tier, I'm like, you can do better. Mm. And then if I offend the fourth tier, it's like, fuck off. Yeah. You know? So, like, <laughs> that's a you... great way to break it down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was like, it was <laughs> it's like, like really accurate. Like, I'm so <laughs> in on this video yeah. right now. <laughs> so, I mean, like, once you can, like, once you can distinguish between the second and third tier, it'll just like, help you like you don't have to argue with these people because you're like oh they're too stupid Mm -hmm. to like argue with yeah yeah i feel like tiktok is a lot of level three then yeah so many people they're just they're just gotta confuse you're confused yeah Yeah. just don't make any sense my comments are crazy yeah i get a lot of four (laughs) they just hate you ugly piece of shit shut the fuck up shane dawson (laughs) looking ass Oh, no, yeah, one of the comments on the Terra's World video was like, you shouldn't even speak, you have beady eyes. And I was like, that's why I can't talk. <laughs> my eyes are close together. I'll wear sunglasses. Am <laughs> <laughs> my eyes speak? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wait, TikTok's fucked. What's the craziest comment you guys have gotten about yourself? Oh, oh, crazy. Maybe not like meanest, but like one that like stuck that's with crazy. you. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, didn't I read one today that was fucking nuts? Oh, you read a hilarious email. A, a guy's really looking for some help in Istanbul or something. You got an email? It's, this is really funny. Because <laughs> I know it's fake, okay? Yeah. And it is one of the cr- crazier emails I get got. But I get these a lot for some reason. And I don't know why I get them People so are much. posting your email on Yik Yak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just fighting to get it down and arrowed. It's you. <laughs> it's me. It's literally Grace. <laughs> I, I leaked our Airbnb too. <laughs> there should be a lot of people waiting to take some pictures. <laughs> oh, fuck, I I've got it, it like that. Grace, tell your craziest thing while I try to find it. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, I thought I was going to get a little more time by doing this email thing. Um, craziest comment. Fuck. I can tell you mine while you think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's yours? It was a couple of years ago. It's like my favorite comment of all time. They were like, Sarah has the vacant stare of a mule. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Vacant stare of a mule. I literally, like, next day, went to the local petting zoo and, like, looked at a mule. <laughs> and I was like, what did they see in this? And I guess it was just, like, staring straight ahead. I was like, that could be me. I don't know. <laughs> I got, that reminds me of one I got. I can't find the fucking email, but it, basically this guy's going to kill himself because he got into a gambling problem and his wife's mad, but it was all fake and he just wanted money. He's from yeah. Istanbul. I don't know. <laughs> but someone commented, it was actually two, remember two Tarantina? Yes. Yes. She commented on, but she meant it in like a nice way, I guess, but it was so crazy. She was like, I don't know how to explain it, but your voice sounds like nothing. What? And I was uh. like, what she was like explain it she was like your voice it just sounds like nothing like i can't explain it like your voice is just so empty i'm like that's (laughs) mean (laughs) i was like wow that hurts and i loved her too i was like that's fucking damn that's tough yeah Yeah. two turn on that one (laughs) yeah no yeah that was probably the, one of the weirder ones that I've gotten. Yeah. Got told I was built like a joint yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like valid. Um, yeah, they're usually just mean. I obviously. mean, yeah. what I'm dealing with right now is just, you give off Shane Dawson vibes. I'm like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> is it why, because I'm a ginger or is it because I'm just like really unfunny or I just don't know. But uh, uh-huh. yeah, that one's tricky right now. Um, I get a lot about my looks. Bless you. We're trying to look for another word besides bless you. Because okay. we're not religious either. And, uh, well, I don't know. Are you religious? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's gay. Picking she up, can't be religious. I was, I was just, <laughs> picking up on context clues, maybe, possibly. Never assume, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, 
Yeah, a, a better word for bless you. What are you thinking? Um, I have no idea. We said shut up. Shut up. Every yeah. time someone sneezes, she's like, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yes. I love when like someone's like coughing way too much. People are like, stop. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Stop <laughs> so if, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just get glares. It's like, uh. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll find a new word. I'll just Shut say stop. Up. Just stop. <laughs> Enough's enough. That's enough. Put your hands up. Yeah. That's so 2020. Yeah. That's good. You can stop now. <laughs> Gross. <Wait>. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> Sit's a good one. <laughs> Sit now. Stay. We're like <laughs> cringe. <laughs> just like Roll over. Cringe. cringge. <laughs> Uh, that would be awesome. I just hit people with my cars when they <laughs> sneeze. Yes, and they'll get up and say it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jack, come on out. <laughs> yeah, that's how we're going to end the episode. Jack, come on out. Um, I hope we didn't weird you out. Or cr- I hope this was a good episode for no, you. Yeah, okay. that was this good? Yeah, this is great. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I do also want to acknowledge, I said she like three times, and I know I should be saying they, so I'm sorry. It's both. It is? You're okay. fine. I didn't fuck up. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. just realized that, and I was like, fuck, I fucked up. Oh, no, you're good. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Nice. Nice. I thought I fucked up big time. I was like, fuck, I was trying to be so conscious about it, too. (laughs) Um, All right. Well, I think that's the episode. This has has been Sarah Shower. Three friends having fun. Yeah. I think it was hilarious. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, guys. Can I plug my podcast? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. All right. You guys should listen to the BCC Club. It's hosted by me and Kendall Landreth, and we talk about the weirdest parts of the internet and improv at the end. So. Ooh, improv. Hell yeah. I love that segment. That sounds great. Yeah. I'll listen to when I go home. Check that out. When does it come? Like, when do episodes drop? Uh, Every Wednesday. Okay, cool. We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Oh, yeah. So uh-huh. you can listen to us Tuesday and then Sarah on Wednesday Hell and yeah. us on Thursday. That's perfect schedule. You, you have guys great have week. two episodes a week? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. I know. Yeah. It's a lot. It mm-hmm. is. It's fun, though. But it's usually just us, so it's not as stressful, I feel. Yeah. Guests are kind of scary. Mm-hmm. Like, thank God you, like, shoot the shit. Sometimes it's not as easy. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like pulling teeth. Yeah. yeah. Like really, like, yeah. yanking them. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> so we're grateful for you. Yes. <laughs> thanks for having me on. And thanks for coming.